That's awesome. That's super cool. Um, yeah. Well, I feel like um, I want to uh, I want to pray over you, Debbie. You say your name's Debbie, right? Yes. Okay, I should know that since we're friends on Facebook, anyway. But <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Uh, so I saw I saw your hand on like a doorknob. And I don't know if there's like a decision or something or like a opportunity that you're thinking about taking. But I saw like maybe some sort of I don't know, like hesitation maybe. Um, and I saw you like putting your ear to the door like trying to hear what's going on on the other side. But I can see I can see it opening and I can see um, it's almost like you're being sucked into it. And so I don't know if that even makes any sense, but, um, but I, uh, I feel like there's um, specifically like one opportunity and one door that's being opened. And, um, and the Lord will obviously just speak to your heart if any of this is for you or if it's uh, making sense. But I can also see like a it's it's like you're walking through um a uh like this clouded room or this clouded like area or no you're not even like walking it's like you're like floating through like almost like a cloud that's um kind of like uh a certain like a tannish color but uh you're like pushing through this like fog or this this cloud and I and it's it's like you're making a pathway through it and I feel like the Lord is um I, th I guess he's called you to actually be like a pioneer and to be a forerunner to be somebody that's actually pushing through um areas that uh that makes sense so um to be somebody that actually not even somebody that just takes new ground but somebody who goes through new ground not not just somebody that um like you know you land on an island or you land on a on a new land of some sort and say this is you know my this is my land or this is god's land now but i can see you actually going through um through territory that that's never been uh gone through and um not just standing on top of it but going through it and ex and uh digging deep through um, through areas that haven't been tread in before, um, even things that haven't been explored yet, or things that haven't been um, like untapped potential, like you're a woman of untapped potential, like you you find the untapped potential and you go to the the deepest places of where things are needing to be drawn out, and you find the, the way to draw them out, and uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, I heard you. I don't know whether you're like a big fan of Bakersfield, but I saw you like getting up on top of a building and saying, "This is my city." And I don't know whether that's something that you've said, or maybe something like you've maybe rebuked other people for speaking negatively about Bakersfield or maybe even some other city, but um, I just saw you getting up on a building and saying, this is my city with like your hands spread wide. And I feel like there's ripples coming out of you when you say that. It's like sound waves being released when you say that and when you proclaim that, this is my city. And like you are, that's actually really good. That's really powerful what the Lord's saying over that. Um, when you say that, you're not only affecting the people that are hearing you say it, but it's it's releasing um, it's releasing the spirit of God into the atmosphere. It's re releasing angels even to to go on assignment, 
And um, there's like an authority that you carry in, um, even in this city to see transformation. And God is giving you a... There's so much on your life that has to do with like, it, with like taking new ground, like taking new territory. And like, I just keep seeing these visions of you in different situations where you're taking new ground and um, un, un, like unexplored ground and even places that maybe even some have gone before but they didn't actually, they didn't quite get to where they could have gone or they didn't quite see the areas of that thing that they could have seen. Um, and um, I see God like, it's all, it's practically like he's putting you in outer space. Like he's, it's like he's given you a new suit to where you're able to breathe in an area where other people can't breathe. And, um, and I could see him even, even right now in the spirit, I see him putting over you like a, it's almost like a, uh, like a cape, like a, um, like a cloak putting over you, putting on your shoulders. I can see an angel just putting something over your shoulders right now and covering you, even with like protection. And um, in this season you're in, and it's like a, it's like a, a cape of protection and even strength that God's putting on your life. And um, I could see Him crowning your head as well. And um, and you, yeah, you're going where. No one has gone before. Lord, I just thank you for that. And Debbie, I thank you for the, um, just the, the woman that she is and what she carries. And Father, I just ask that anything that I've said that is, um, is directly from you, God, that you would just establish that in her heart and just, um, Lord, you would birth the miraculous from her life in Jesus' name. And God, I thank you for the dreams that you're, um, that you're establishing in her and the dreams that are, that are coming to pass. And um, Lord, I thank you that everywhere she goes, she's meeting new people, she's making new connections. And I can just see, I can see things connecting for you, like things that don't even make sense. There's, there's things that God's connecting in your life, people that are, he's connecting, situations he's connecting, places you've been, and things are just lining up for you. Places that you've been, there, there are things that are lining up in ways that only he can do. So Father, I thank you for that. I thank you that every... Every crack is, is for a reason. God, every, um, every area of brokenness is actually, being le is, is actually leading to um, something beautiful that you're creating. God, everything that, that seemed like it fell apart, everything that seemed like it was cracked and broken, you're causing it to become a, uh, something beautiful and something brand new. And Lord, you're connecting all the dots over Debbie's life. In Jesus' name, and Lord, I just thank you for that over her right now, Lord. And um, fresh, fresh fire, fresh, um, Lord, just that, that power punch of your presence, that, just that punch in the gut of your goodness, <laughs> of your presence, God, over her life, that she just releases so much and... Um, and Lord, you're just you're just pouring back into her constantly. Father, we just thank you that your your um, your cup in her life is overflowing. So, Father, just uh, just keep on pouring it out over her in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. I gotta tell you one thing: the roof of my building is where I hang out, so it's really. Oh. Cool. I'm just gonna share that one. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. My hang out place. <laughs> That's wild. Did any of the other stuff make yeah, any sense? So you I'll have to take you on the roof. I'll have to. That's where I always take everybody. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> and you can see the whole city from where I'm at. Dang. Okay. Wow. wow. You can have a chair up there for my lunch. So. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Did any of the other stuff make any sense to you? Okay. Awesome. Well, we are out of time, but that's a lot of fun, isn't it, guys? You guys have been awesome. And I know that Caitlin said you guys would probably be super tired because it's nighttime, but you guys seem like you're, you're in it to win it. <laughs> so, um, so I'll just pray for you. If we, we can just stand up as we end today. Um, so, uh, so uh, So 
God, I just thank you for thank you for greater dreams being accomplished, Lord. Greater things, Lord. I thank you for establishing um, a, a bigger, uh, Lord, bigger dreams, God. Bigger things that, um, Lord, the, even the things that we thought we could imagine, the things that we thought were well, like that's all I can do. That's all God can do through me, God. I thank you that you're even breaking us out of those boundaries. In Jesus' name. Lord, that even this year for each one of us, God, I, I just ask that you would lead each one here, lead to the resources they need to accomplish the goals that you've placed in them or to accomplish the, the dreams and the, the visions that you've put inside of them. God, I thank you that as they worship you and as they, as they spend time in your presence, that, that breakthrough is going to begin to happen, that revelation is going to, going to begin to flow. And Father, I just pray for grace on each one's life um, in here tonight. Lord, that even tonight, that each one would have dreams in the night season, Lord, would have dreams and would experience greater realms of, of, uh, of creativity even as they sleep. Lord, blueprints for ideas even as they sleep. In Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you right now for grace. Grace, grace, grace over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are world changers. Just say that. I'm a world changer. I'm a world changer. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Awesome. You guys are great.